Branding has proven to be one of the most influential communication tools of the last 100 years. Today, 94% of the world's population, for example, recognizes the Coca-Cola brand. These successes have made Western brands the postal codes of capitalism and created billions of dollars of wealth for Western societies. Here, companies have perfected the design of brands and protected them for decades while outsourcing production to countries such as Malaysia and China. Now, however, poor countries are beginning to take advantage of this, learning how the art of branding can add astronomical surplus value to the simplest products and create billions of dollars for their own economies, just as the West has always done it. The Philippines, for instance, has designed a fast food brand that's cut out McDonald's, and in China, Lenovo expects to become the biggest brand manufacturer of computers in the world in 10 years' time. In India, Deepak Kanagankar is using the techniques of Bernard Arnault from LVMH, the French conglomerate behind luxury brands such as Louis Vuitton, Christian Lacroix, and Dom Perignon, to design his own Indian luxury perfume. Increasingly, poor countries are using the opportunity of the global market to look at branding as has always been seen by Western CEOs, a tool designed to engineer desire and from this create great wealth. But south of the equator, the promise of branding is taking on a new and important dimension. The coolest kid on the cola block is Mecca Cola, an example of how a non-Western company is adding something new to the world of branding. Mecca Cola is distinct from its famous cola rivals in the West because it's designed to give 10% net profits to humanitarian charities that directly aid, in this case, Palestinian children through the donation of books and other educational supplies. With their slogan, no more drinking stupid, drink with commitment, Mecca Cola is capturing markets in the Middle East, Africa, and in Europe, as it's deliberately heightening the expectations of what a popular brand can and should deliver. If non-Western countries have discovered that the power of brands can be harnessed to benefit the well-being of their own populations, Will the Western brands catch on?